Okay, so it's eight o'clock. Uh, warm good evening to all those who have joined from India, and good morning to, especially good morning to Herb as well as all others who have joined from the US. So we are here for the inaugural function of the third edition of Open Origins Open Ends. Uh, it's actually a proud <laughs> moment for all of us in PhotoMuse. Uh, the reason being, uh, it's this is this Open Origins Open Ends has been one of the most prestigious programs that PhotoMuse have been doing for the past years. Uh, we did two editions of print exhibition. The third, unfortunately, because of uh, program and Kuchi, as well as due to the COVID situation, we were not able to do a print exhibition. So instead of that, we are uh, doing an online show this year. So it's a proud moment for all of us. Uh, out of the 27,648 images that, were, that was posted in the Facebook group, uh, 48 were selected for the show. So Photomuse is growing as well as we are also growing as photographers. So uh, it, it might sound like it was a bit harsh to select only a few images, but that's how Photomuse is. It helps you to think, it helps you to work harder, and it helps you to reach your goals. So uh, it's a, so we have the lucky 48 here who, whose images have been selected for the show. And I'm not uh, prolonging my talk. Uh, I'm inviting Dr. Unni for his uh, welcome address. Dr. Unni. You can unmute. Please unmute, doctor. Okay. Uh, thanks, Kekim. Uh, dear friends, we will begin with a loving tribute to Mr. S. P. Balasubramaniam, the renowned singer who passed away this morning. I am very pleased to welcome you all to this exhibition of photographs organized by PhotoMuse, the Museum of Photography. As you all know, this is the third edition of the annual PhotoMuse exhibition. The first two editions were done at Darbar Hall Art Center, Cochin, as print exhibitions. Titled Open Origins, Open Ends, this is one of the most successful exhibition series done by PhotoMuse. In the context of the COVID pandemic, we are restricted to the virtual world. Still, we are confident that we can make the most out of its strengths and possibilities. This edition features 48 photographs by 48 photographers. These were selected from 27,648 photographs submitted by, submitted by PhotoMuse members over a year. Out of these 48 pictures, we selected five winners for the PhotoMuse Luster Award. From these figures, you may guess the amount of effort we have put in to choose the participants for this show. And hence, the winners can be really proud of their success. This time, we selected the pictures based on their individual strengths because the images were conceived by different photographers from different places working on different themes and subject matters. Our primary concern was to see if the photograph could stand alone high enough to tell something unique from a unique perspective. I take this opportunity to welcome all of you to the online presentation of this exhibition. I am honored to welcome Mr. Herbert Ashman Jr. as our chief guest of this program. He's an internationally known photographer and one of the most important platinum print makers of the world. He is also the founding director of Cleveland Photo Fest USA. And now, hold your breath. I offered you a surprise announcement and a special gift from PhotoMuse for all the participants of this show. Here we go. <clears throat> all the photographs shown today as part of PhotoMuse Open Origins Open Ends Edition 3 will be taken to the United States of America and will be exhibited as part of the second edition of Cleveland Photo Fest in March 2021. I am sure this will open up an unprecedented opportunity for all the participants to get a wide audience and more recognition 
success uh, that all of them deserve. Photomuse is proud to facilitate your growth as a photo artist to all possible levels we can. I again welcome our chief guest and all the participants and viewers to this prestigious exhibition of Photomuse. Thank you. So uh, now I would like to invite uh, Herbert Asherman Jr. Uh, and <coughs> for, uh, Herb has been already, uh, already given by Dr. Unni in his welcome speech, so no need for any further intro. Moreover, uh, he is familiar to all Photomuse members because he has been the advisor for Photomuse. Uh, so I would like to invite Herb for his inaugural address. Good morning. Well, good evening. Good morning for us, but good evening for you. <clears throat> First and foremost, 15 years ago, Dr. Uni found me on the internet and I made the trip to India, met him and fell absolutely in love with him, his family and the work that he has done in India. And I have been an ardent supporter and a very dear friend of his uh, for that time and he has certainly enlarged my life and my understanding of not only people at large, but photography as well. So I'm deeply indebted to him for his affection and attention and the opportunity to participate with you. Over the years, we have grown together. I helped at the initial stages of conversations of Photo Muse, and he has been a very good advisor to the Cleveland Photo Fest, where he put on the most incredible exhibition last year of his scans from the damaged negatives. Uh, hopefully many of you have seen these. And I must admit that it got more attention and more publicity than any of the other 21 exhibitions that we put on, plus the fact that there were good sales. So that helps everybody. Uh, having said that, we discussed the possibility of an exchange program between Cleveland and Kerala. And what this is, as far as the members and the participants in this open end show, is that we have already sent photographs by Cleveland photographers to Uni. You have them, yes? Yes, we have, good. Uh, just making sure because we know what the postage situation is like. So the idea was that we would send an ex exhibition, I think there were 70 pictures in that show, to you to have exhibited at the same time that India, that, that Photomuse, would send images to us for exhibition, which will probably be at this point April or May of next year. And the treat the 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 surprise of the sh of the of the of the show and the sharing will be that you indian photographers who participated will be allowed to select one of the pictures from the cleveland show to keep as your own as a token of our affection and our photographers will select one of your pictures to keep in their private collections here in the us so not only will we expand consciousness of what Indian photographers are doing? And parenthetically, I must admit that I have never seen such funny images in my entire life. The humor that was exhibited in many of these photographs was just fabulous. As you know, Uni is a very funny guy sometimes. So to see all this humor in these pictures was very enlightening and very surprising and very, very pleasing. I have gone back over them on several occasions. So back to the, to the exchange. So our pictures will hang in your gallery. You will make a selection. Your pictures will hang in our gallery. Our photographers will make a selection. And hopefully, it will be the foundation of bridges that the Cleveland Photo Fest and um, uh, Photomuse will build in the future. I was supposed to be in India this past January, but we know what happened. And unfortunately, the way things look, it may be a while, a year or so before I get back, but I have absolutely become enamored 
with obviously Uni and the family and all my friends that I have met and the many people that I've had the opportunity to talk to and to relate to on a group and, a, and at a personal level. So I'm, my own personal connection is very, very deep and very affectionate for all of you photographers and I really look forward to seeing and meeting with you upon my return. Uh, if we would have gotten around this COVID situation, um, we would have had this show up already here in this country. Uh, we were supposed to do a two month exhibition in September and October. There would be video screen streaming, there would be interviews, there would be publicity. But now that we have an extra, as it turned out, 18 months to work on this, next year hopefully will be better. So once it does go up, and we have a private gallery and a huge exhibition space for this show. It will be absolutely fantastic. And of course, you will all know about it. What else can I tell you? You're muted. Uni, you're muted. Uh, do you have something to say about the award winners, the Luster Award winners? Did you see the pictures? Yes, the award winners. Um, the award winners, and I'm going to pull them up so I can see them. Uh, I was very impressed with Bijou Ibrahim, and pardon my pronunciation, pardon my pronunciations, uh, black and white photograph because it was just startling. It was a almost a photojournalistic image. It was or is a very dramatic, high contrast, black and white, very, very high intense. And I can remember on my first trip to India, being in someone's house and seeing the children sleeping on the floor as they are here. So it brought back a great deal of personal memory to me, as well as visually, it was an incredibly impactful image. Uh, the one by Rudrash Pradavidan, um, I looked at about 15 times trying to figure out the sizes of what those creatures were because I have been to the Taj Mahal, fortunately, and was just stunned by the size and the composition and the transposition of the images, both the color literally and the black and white of the Taj with the details. And I had to look very, very carefully to find the people, the, the three men who were standing on top of this figure. So I found the, the transposition of the two images, both in color and in contrast, to be very startling and almost surrealistic. Deepesh uh, Puthya Puril, yes, I won't even try that one. Uh, this is one of those moments of a lifetime. The, the, the old saying of, <clears throat> Ansel Adams, which is chance favors the prepared mind, um, is a classic definition for being at the right place at the right time and waiting for it to happen in front of you. Uh, this image, I hope, you know, he just didn't hit the motor drive and it took 50 pictures. But what I'm, what I'm seeing in this is the patience and the eye and the skill of the photographer behind the camera to be able to sense the timing of what's going to happen. And as you all know, timing is everything. So this is a marvelous example of someone who was just ready, mentally, physically, spiritually, technically ready to make an incredible image. Sudhir uh, and Manu, uh, are funny. I mean, these are very humorous images. The Sudhir's image is the juxtaposition of so many disparate elements that happen to come together all at one time. And, and if you were into to Cartier-Bresson, he, he would say, this is a decisive moment. This is that absolute phenomenal instinct when instant, when everything happens together. And Manu's picture, I've laughed about for a week since I've seen these. Uh, here is this unassuming, quiet little person walking away, not knowing that he's about to be totally consumed and eaten by this mechanical monster who is literally waiting for him to have lunch. Very, very funny, very beautiful. 
as far as Abu, Abu Jeet, um, I don't know. I mean, this, this is uh, one of those startling types of images where there are two central elements of composition, but I'm trying to figure out in my mind, and it does make me think as to how they work together and why. So I don't really understand his method or his, his intent or his uh, vision in putting them together, but they stand as two very, very strong elements. And I think those are all the Lester Awards. Yes. So I was very impressed with this selection. I was very impressed with the collection. And what I learned many, many years ago from a person in the art business is that when you show something, show the range of your work. Don't just show one particular series or one particular um, uh, thematic approach, something that you've studied over a long period of time and you're good at. Show me the range of what you do. Show me how different you really are and show me what your, the broad interests that you have. And I was just very, very impressed and overwhelmingly so with the range of work that this show covered. I know you had only, what, 27,000 to choose from? That isn't much, I realize that. You can go through those in an hour or two, but the good ones always come to the surface. And I think the collection here is a marvelous series of images, and I'm sure I can tell you with complete certainty that they will be widely seen and widely respected once we get them hung up here. So my personal thanks for all of you to participate. And uh, my only wish is that I could be there with you to see our show when it opens, but maybe someday. Thank you Herb, for this enlightening words. And uh, uh, all the participants are here and they should have heard what you have said. Hope they enjoyed and hope they have learned something from you. We will carry on with the other parts. KK, can you uh, continue? With yeah, that? now we will go to the images. Uh, those who are here can uh, have a short description about their image. So I'll be sharing the screen now. So when your image is shown, you can uh, start up. You can unmute and start your uh, talk. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. So we'll start off with the uh, Lustra Award winners. Uh, Manu Rajan. Manu is here? Yeah, I am here. Yeah, please. Hello, friends. Good evening. Uh, I am extremely happy to be part of this exhibition by Photo Muse. Uh, I am from Kollam district and now based in Dubai at present. Uh, nature is my favorite subject in photography, more specifically macro world of insects. But at the same time, anything pictorial also interests me. Regarding this specific photograph, uh, I am a civil engineer by profession. This image is taken from Deira Islands of Dubai, from uh, the construction site I was working with. The man in the picture was supervising the rope grabber when he got a phone call and then he started speaking and forgot where he is. The huge machine appears ready to grab the man and I name this image man and machine. Once again, glad to be part of this show and thank you for doing this. Thank you. you, Doctor. Rudrash, Rudrash Padavidan. Hello all. I am Rudrash. I am from Karanapalli. I am from Wedding Photography. Ishta subject photo decanate travel photography on a good Rishta, or the wildlife photography in good Rishta. Each itra made a thick in the end a video of a seratula and a watcher a chatra in the Idvata on August and even the Chilla Kalagat Mahal Sadrana. Onartagarian, while I didn't take a cold or some way, I don't know each term at the same or another. Upon Ochera Shatrathanod Adathanola, Ochera Palim, Apaliuda, Adathu, Adathu, and the Kamei, 
ഈ ഒരു കാള കാള കിട്ടും ഈ കാളയെ കാണുന്നതും അങ്ങനെ അങ്ങനെയാണ് ഈ ചിത്രം എടുക്കാൻ ഈ ഒരു കോമ്പോസിഷൻ എന്റെ മനസ്സിൽ വന്നത് ഒരു മതസൗഹാർദ്ദപരമായിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ചിത്രം എന്നതാണ് ആദ്യം മനസ്സിൽ വന്നത് പിന്നീട് അതിന്റെ ആ അത്ര ആ പള്ളിയുടെ അത്ര തന്നെ ഉയരമുള്ള ഒരു കാളയെ കാണുന്നതും അങ്ങനെ ഒരു ചിത്രം എടുക്കാൻ പെട്ടെന്നാണ് അങ്ങനെ മനസ്സിൽ വന്നത് ഈ ചിത്രം എടുക്കുമ്പോൾ നല്ലൊരു ചിത്രം കിട്ടുക എന്നുള്ളതല്ലാതെ വേറെ ഒന്നും മനസ്സിലുണ്ടായിരുന്നില്ല എനിക്ക് ഈ എക്സിബിഷനിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ പങ്കെടുക്കാൻ സാധിച്ചതും ഈ ലെസർ അവാർഡ് ലഭിക്കാൻ ലഭിച്ചതും എല്ലാം വളരെയധികം സന്തോഷമുണ്ട് ഫോട്ടോ മിസ്സിന് ടീം അംഗങ്ങൾക്ക് എല്ലാം വളരെയധികം താങ്ക്സ് ഉണ്ട് ഹലോ യെസ് ഗുഡ് ഈവനിങ് എവറിബഡി ഐ എം ഫ്രോം ചൈന ആക്ച്വലി ഐ എം ലിവിങ് ഇൻ ചൈന ദി ഇമേജ് വാസ് ടേക്കൻ ഇൻ ബാങ്കോക്ക് ഐ വാസ് ലിവിങ് ഇൻ ബാങ്കോക്ക് ഫോർ സെവൻ ഇയേഴ്സ് ഐ എം ഡൂയിങ് സ്ട്രീറ്റ് ഫോട്ടോഗ്രാഫി ഇൻ ജനറൽ nothing to say some about this image it's like i am trying to depict like um, a consumer society and how the advertisements dig our brains and uh, put some false information in it and kind of things uh, i'm not sure how to explain about the picture thank you for photomus and all the team and yeah thank you thank you so much thank you sudeep ബിജു ഇബ്രാഹിം ആദ്യം ഫോട്ടോ മ്യൂസിനും നമ്മുടെ ചീഫ് ഗസ്റ്റിനും നന്ദി പറയുന്നു ഇങ്ങനെ എന്റെ എനിക്ക് സെക്കൻഡ് പ്രാവശ്യം രണ്ടാമത് പ്രാവശ്യമാണ് ഈ അവാർഡ് കിട്ടുന്നത് ബെസ്റ്റ് അവാർഡ് ഐ മഷ് ഹംബിൾഡ് ഞാൻ ഡോക്യുമെന്ററി ഫോട്ടോഗ്രാഫർ ആണ് ഇതൊരു യാത്രയിലെ ഒരു മൈഗ്രന്റ് ഫാമിലിയാണ് ഇതില് എനിക്ക് ആ മൊമെന്റിൽ തോന്നിയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു സ്പിരിച്വൽ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ആണ് ആ കുഞ്ഞിനെ ഒരു ഒരു ഏഞ്ചൽ ഇടത്തിലാണ് ഞാൻ കൊണ്ടുവെക്കുന്നത് അവിടെ ഒരിക്കലും ഒരു അമ്മ ഒരു വാഷ് ബേസിന്റെ അടുത്ത് ഒരു കുഞ്ഞിനെ അങ്ങനെ വെക്കില്ല പക്ഷെ അവിടെ തൊട്ടടുത്ത് തന്നെ അമ്മയും അച്ഛനും ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അവരോടൊരു മൗനാനുവാദത്തോട് കൂടിയിട്ടാണ് ഞാൻ ആ ചിത്രം എടുത്തത് അവർ അത്രയും ക്ഷീണിച്ചിരിക്കുകയായിരുന്നു പക്ഷെ ഇത് ഇത് കാ കണ്ട സമയത്ത് എന്നെ ഉണ്ടായിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു സ്പിരിച്വൽ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് എന്നാണ് ഈ ഫോട്ടോഗ്രാഫർ വന്നത് താങ്ക് യു ഫോട്ടോ താങ്ക് യു ഫോർ താങ്ക് യു ബിജു ഹായ് എല്ലാവർക്കും നമസ്കാരം ഞാൻ ദീപേഷ് പുതിയവരയിലാണ് കാസർഗോഡ് ജില്ലയിലെ പുതുമ സ്വദേശി വെഡ്ഡിങ് ഫോട്ടോഗ്രാഫി ആണ് എന്റെ തൊഴിൽ മേഖല പിന്നെ ഈ ചിത്രത്തെ കുറിച്ച് പറയുകയാണെങ്കിൽ നമ്മുടെ പാറയിൽ ചെറിയൊരു പാറക്കുളത്തു നിന്നും എടുത്ത പാടാണ് എന്റെ വീടിന്റെ മുന്നിൽ മുന്നിൽ നിന്നാണ് ഇത് എടുത്ത് നിരന്തരമായ ശ്രമം കൂടിയാണ് എനിക്ക് ഈ പടം കിട്ടിയത് എത്ര പടം എടുത്തു എന്ന് എനിക്ക് തന്നെ അറിയില്ല പല സമയത്തും പല സെറ്റിങ്ങിലും പല രീതിയിലും എടുത്തു ഇതിന് ഇങ്ങനെ പടം എനിക്ക് കിട്ടാൻ വേണ്ടി രണ്ടായിരത്തി പതിനേഴിലാണ് ഞാൻ ഈ പടം എടുത്തത് പിന്നെ പല വെല്ലുവിളികളും വെല്ലുവിളികളും ഈ പടം ഇതിന്റെ ബാക്ക്ഗ്രൗണ്ടിൽ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അതായത് ഒരു ഉണങ്ങിയ പുല്ല് പുല്ലാണ് ഇതിന്റെ ബാക്ക്ഗ്രൗണ്ടിൽ അപ്പൊ അത് നമുക്കിപ്പോ ബാക്ക്ഗ്രൗണ്ടിലേക്ക് ലയിച്ചത് കാരണം നമുക്ക് കൂടുതൽ അപ്പർച്ചർ ഇടുമ്പോൾ പല പ്രശ്നങ്ങളും ഉണ്ടാകുന്നുണ്ട് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ ടൂ പോയിന്റ് എയ്റ്റിൽ ആണ് എനിക്ക് ഇത് കിട്ടിയിരിക്കുന്നത് ഇങ്ങനെ പടം കിട്ടിയിരിക്കുന്നത് മറ്റുള്ള അപ്പർച്ചറിൽ എടുക്കുമ്പോൾ ഒന്നുകിൽ ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ഫോക്കസ് ആവും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ തുമ്പി ഉണ്ടാവില്ല അങ്ങനെ പല 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 ഇതും ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടുകൾ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു പിന്നെ എന്റെ ഫോട്ടോഗ്രാഫിയിലെ കാറ്റഗറി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എല്ലാതരം എല്ലാതരം ചിത്രങ്ങളും പകർത്താനാണ് എനിക്കിഷ്ടമാണ് അങ്ങനെ പ്രത്യേക ഒരു കാറ്റഗറി ഒന്നുമില്ല കഴിയുന്നതും ഞാൻ ചിത്രങ്ങൾ പകർത്താൻ ശ്രമിക്കാറുണ്ട് കൂടുതലൊന്നും പറയാനില്ല ഇതിനെ കുറിച്ച് എല്ലാവർക്കും ഹായ് ഗുഡ് ഈവനിങ് എല്ലാവർക്കും നമസ്കാരം കേൾക്കാമോ ഓക്കെ 
എന്റെ പേര് അഭിജിത്ത് ഞാൻ എറണാകുളം ജില്ലയിലെ വരാപ്പിളിൽ നിന്നാണ് വരുന്നത് ഞാൻ കേരള മീഡിയ അക്കാഡമിയിലെ ഫോട്ടോ ജേർണലിസം സ്റ്റുഡന്റ് ആണ് ഞാൻ ഈ ചിത്രം എടുത്തത് രണ്ടായിരത്തി പതിനാറിലെ കൊച്ചി ബിനാലിലൊക്കെയാണ് എടുത്തത് മൊബൈൽ ഫോണിലാണ് ചിത്രം എടുത്തത് ഇതിന്റെ ലൈറ്റും ഷാഡോസും കണ്ടപ്പോ ഒരു എന്നൊരു പ്രത്യേക ഫീലും തോന്നി ഇപ്പൊ അങ്ങനെ എടുത്താണ് ചിത്രമാണത് ഇപ്പോ എല്ലാ തരത്തിലുള്ള ചിത്രങ്ങൾ എടുക്കാനും എനിക്ക് വളരെയധികം ഇഷ്ടമാണ് കൂടുതലും പോർട്രേറ്റ്സും സ്ട്രീറ്റും ആണ് കൂടുതൽ ഇഷ്ടം എന്റെ പേര് അജിത്ത് ഉമ്മേന്നു എന്നാണ് ഞാൻ കൊല്ലം കൊല്ലത്ത് നിന്നാണ് ഈ പിക്ചറിനെ പറ്റി പറയുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അതൊരു സ്റ്റേജ്ഡ് ഫോട്ടോഗ്രാഫ് ആണ് ആക്ച്വലി അങ്ങനെ ഒരു പത്രത്തില് മദർ തെരേസയുടെ ഒരു ലൈഫ് ഇമേജ് കിട്ടിയപ്പോ അതിന് വീണ്ടും ഒരു ലൈഫ് കൊടുക്കാൻ പറ്റുമോ എന്നൊരു ചിന്തയിൽ നിന്നാണ് ആക്ച്വലി ആ പിക്ചർ ഉണ്ടായത് അത് ആക്ച്വലി അതിനെ പിന്നിൽ തന്നെ ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്തത് എന്റെ അമ്മ തന്നെയാണ് അതിനെനിക്ക് അതെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ അത് ഞാൻ എന്താണോ മനസ്സിൽ ഉദ്ദേശിച്ചത് അതുപോലെ തന്നെ പിക്ചറൈസ് ചെയ്യാൻ എനിക്ക് പറ്റിയെന്നാണ് എനിക്ക് തോന്നിയിട്ടുള്ളത് ഒരുപാട് പേര് നല്ല അഭിപ്രായം പറഞ്ഞു കുറച്ച് പേര് ക്രിറ്റിസൈസ് ചെയ്യുകയും ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് എന്നാലും ആക്ച്വലി ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോമിൽ എന്നെ എത്തിക്കാൻ ആ പിക്ചർ സഹായിച്ചു എന്നുള്ളതിന് എനിക്ക് ഒരുപാട് സന്തോഷം തോന്നുന്നു വൺസ് അഗെയിൻ താങ്ക് യു ഫോട്ടോ മ്യൂസ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ദി മെമ്പേഴ്സ് for giving a uh, wonderful opportunity to be a part of this platform thank you all thank you angel angel is not here uh, he is traveling actually so uh, this is his image anil prabhakar anil Anil was here. Anil? Anil, you are here? So, we will proceed. This is Arunas Pillai. I think he is from New Zealand. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Arun is not here. Ashok Dilwali. Yeah. He is also not here. Anil, Anil, Anil is here. Anil is here. He is also not audible. Anil, please unmute and talk. Okay. Okay. Anil is here. Asim. I think Asim is also not here. Biju. Biju CG. Hello, hello all. Uh, yeah. I am Biju CG. ഒരു ആക്ച്വലി ഞാൻ വളരെ വണ്ടറടിച്ചിരിക്കുകയാണ് കാര്യം ഇവരുടെയൊക്കെ പിക്ചർ കാണുമ്പോൾ ദിവേഷിന്റെ ഒക്കെ പിക്ചർ ഒക്കെ ഞാൻ നേരത്തെ കണ്ടിട്ടുള്ളതാണ് അപ്പോ എനിക്ക് ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു അവസരം തന്നതിൽ വളരെ 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 നന്ദിയുണ്ട് ഉണ്ണി സാറിന്റെ അടുത്ത് പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് കാര്യം നമ്മൾ മീറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് പണ്ട് അപ്പോ ഈ ഒരു ചിത്രം എടുക്കാനായിട്ട് പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് എനിക്ക് ഞാൻ കത്തറിലായിരുന്ന സമയത്താണ് ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു ചിത്രം എടുത്തത് ഇത് ശരിക്കും ആ സിറ്റി സ്കേപ്പ് കത്തറിന്റെ ഒരു ഐഡന്റിറ്റി ആണ് ആ ഒരു കോണ്ടൻ ടവർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ആ ഐഡന്റിറ്റി കിട്ടുന്ന രീതിയിൽ ഒരു സ്പോർട്സ് കാര്യം കൂടുതലും ഖത്തർ സ്പോർട്സുമായി റിലേറ്റഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് കൂടുതൽ അവർ കൂടുതൽ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് കൊടുക്കുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ അതിനെ ബേസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ഒരു ഡെക്കറേറ്റീവ് ഐറ്റം അവിടെ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അപ്പൊ അതിനെയും കൂടി അതിൽ വരുന്ന രീതിയിലാണ് ഞാൻ ആ ഒരു ചിത്രം പകർത്തിയത് അപ്പോൾ അതിൽ ലെസ്റ്ററിൽ ഒരു ഫൈനലിസ്റ്റ് ആവാൻ പറ്റുക എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് തന്നെ വലിയൊരു ഭാഗ്യമാണ് പിന്നെ ഇതേപോലുള്ള ഒരു പങ്കെടുപ്പിനെ സാറ് പറഞ്ഞ ഉണ്ണി സാറ് പറഞ്ഞതുപോലെ നമ്മുടെ ചിത്രങ്ങളൊക്കെ അവിടെ വരിക എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ അതൊരു അതും വലിയൊരു ഭാഗ്യം തന്നെയാണ് ഞാൻ എന്റെ പ്രൊഫഷണലായിട്ട് ഞാനൊരു ത്രീ ഡി വിഷ്വലൈസർ കൂടിയാണ് പക്ഷേ പാഷൻ ആയിട്ടാണ് ഞാൻ ഫോട്ടോഗ്രാഫി കൊണ്ടുപോകുന്നത് എനിവേ എല്ലാരടുത്തും നന്ദിയുണ്ട് ഇതുമായി ലൈക്ക് ചെയ്ത് എന്നെ ഈ ഒരു ലെവലിൽ കൂടുതൽ കൊണ്ടുവരാനാക്കിയതും 
അതിന് എല്ലാവർക്കും നന്ദിയുണ്ട് താങ്ക് യു വെരി മച്ച് now this is uh, my own image uh, i'm i'm happy to be a part of this show uh, i'm i'm basically a nature photographer so uh, i was actually planning for a two day nature trip to murdeshwar and when i went there it was uh, like torrential rains two days of nature photography was completely spoiled by the rain so that was when i uh, i decided to experiment something and it turned out like this so it's i was it, it's an image which has come out from an uh, in a, a little bit of a confused mind so something similar to that situation that is what i feel about this image and it's very very special to me because this is one image which taught me to think about nature photography a little bit different from the usual uh, style of nature photography so this is this image is, is very very special to me and i'm happy that that one got uh selected for this uh, this particular show thank you photomix lindo john good evening all uh, i'm uh, lindo john i mostly do bird photography but uh, this time uh, uh, when i see this picture i remember there is the in that scene there was another bird sitting in a branch away that so uh, there are two kingfishers sitting and this is a very common sight but when i saw that scene i thought i can apply some of the minimalistic uh, 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 theory here so that i can keep a lot of negative space and then again come up with a very strong composition where i can keep the two same birds on a same looking branches on two diagonally opposite ends so finally it came out although it's a lot of negative space that uh, i i uh, feel i could uh, uh, give out a product which i had in my mind when i took the photograph so minimalism applied uh, in bird photography with a strong composition that was in my mind when i took this photograph thank you thank you lindo dr george agustin yeah good evening can you hear me yeah 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 okay i am george agustin a dentist by profession i work in oman uh, i am very happy that uh, my picture got selected here uh, about this picture uh, oman is a desert and the temperatures go as high as 50 degrees in the peak of summer most of the laborers in the country are from india and the construction workers uh, step out of their boots only for a lunch break which lasts for around 1 or 2 hours that is when i found these boots i arranged it uh, and then took the picture that's all about it thank you dr george thank you yobi yobi is here no liju matthew mahesh hi am i audible yeah okay yeah uh thanks everyone uh, i am mahesh mahesh kanan i am from trishur uh, uh in kacheri uh this talking about this picture i learned the concept of diptych uh, from photos so when it was a uh, members day i learned the concept of uh, diptych from uh, dr rumi so the first picture uh, of the spider was uh, taken few days back and i i applied some blurness to that but i never had an idea of getting a diptych on that but later after coming from uh, back from that uh, meeting i thought of making a diptych with that so we usually uh, have images directly talking about uh, relations uh, love emotions uh, but it's hard to make images uh, which speaks on dreams or fear or some emotions it's very difficult so this diptych i actually uh, tried to create the 
feeling of uh, fear for spider so we usually in the night and sleep we get get to uh, wake up uh, thinking oh something has come near me so that feeling has to come so uh, i asked my sister to act on that she uh, the second image is uh, my sister actually she was suddenly waking up from the uh, fear so i i i together with the both images i try to uh, create that feeling so it, i had a fear for uh, posting this picture in baf uh, finally i posted and everyone accepted it and it has come to this much platform thank you everyone for uh, supporting and thank you for the news again manu kekunnundo uh, yes look up ah okay ende ide 2017 le kolikkod festival il nadu tiramalsathinte edayil nadu eduthe oru photo aanu aa oru last few minutes adine kollunadine munbulla last oru few minutes aanu aa oru photo kittiyathu means adinte edu njan direct aayittu aa oru photo lude endha parayan parayan shramichathu pinne vera oru kaaryam endu parayunnathu ippo ore samayam ippo enna sambhavichu adinode daya thoni aa oru time ile ippo vera oru time ilana nundengil ippo ഒരു കുക്ക്ഡ് ചിക്കൻ എന്റെ ഫ്രണ്ടിൽ ഇരിക്കാന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ മേ ബി എനിക്ക് അതിനോട് ഒരു ദയ തോന്നില്ല അപ്പോ ഒരു ടെസ്റ്റിംഗ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു എന്താ പറയാ നമ്മുടെ തന്നെ ഒരു ബിഹേവിയർ മീൻസ് അതിന്റെ ഒരു അത് എടുത്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞ ശേഷം ഞാൻ ചിന്തിച്ചു പോയതാണ് ആ സമയം എനിക്ക് അതിനോട് ദയ തോന്നി അപ്പോ വേറൊരു ഇതിലാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ മേ ബി അതാണ് ഞാൻ അതിലൂടെ പറയാൻ ഉദ്ദേശിച്ചത് എന്തായാലും താങ്ക് യു ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു ഇതിലേക്ക് എത്തിച്ചത് താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു ഫോർ ടു മിസ് ഓക്കെ മെഗോ കരുളിൻ I think he is not here. Milad Hamid. Milad is here, I suppose. Yep. Uh, thank you, Fatamis, for giving me an opportunity to showcase my shot here in front of you all. Uh, my name is Milad Hamid. I'm a amateur photographer based in Singapore. Uh, this picture was shot in Singapore. and i created this image what i had in my mind is to create an image that resembles uh, a smoke stack of a factory uh, with stop smoke emitting out of uh, out uh, into the sky uh, with regards to the composition i used a minimalistic approach just including two elements that's basically the cloud and the building uh, and the blue sky being the background the shape of the building and the cloud along with the right placement of both the elements like the building and the cloud uh i actually managed to uh, get my photographic vision uh, achieved that <clears throat> what my intention was to take a picture of a small stack of a factory uh yeah uh, what else i used a long lens to compress uh, the view and also to avoid uh you know distracting elements from the screen or the print uh yeah basically that's it uh yeah that's the story behind this picture thank you thank you mohammad abdul noor hello yeah hello uh hello hi everyone uh, myself mohammad abdul noor coming from airo uh by profession i am an electrical engineer uh currently working in kcb uh photo news ingane re avasaram thannane photo news ullu nanni parayunu kanya rendu varshathe exhibition lum oru photo undavanam ennu aagrahichu njan rendu exhibition pangedutha aanu so ende photo ne kurichu parayanengil ee photo eduthe moonaru poyappo oru paare paare vaadiyil nikkara appo paare le ലെഫ്റ്റ് സൈഡിൽ നിന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ വണ്ടിയുടെ ലൈറ്റ് അടിച്ചിട്ട് പാറയിൽ പല രൂപങ്ങൾ ഇങ്ങനെ കാണുന്നത് മാറി മുന്നു പറയുന്നത് കണ്ടു അതിന് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ആയിട്ട് തോന്നി എനിക്ക് അപ്പൊ ക്യാപ്ചർ ചെയ്ത ഒരു ഇമേജ് ആണിത് അത്രയാണ് എനിക്ക് പറയാനുള്ളത് Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm Mama Shafi. Actually, I'm a visitor in uh, UAE. I'm from uh, Kerala. Uh, actually, this uh, photo actually, uh, when it uh, first we look like it's like a white cone, like a triangle shape. Uh, but it's those who are in a 
Dubai, everybody knows uh, actually this is the uh, one biggest, uh, tallest uh, flagpole in uh, Dubai. It's around uh, 123 meet, uh, meter height is there, around a 40 story building. And uh, when I look at this one different angle, I, when I'm taking this photo, I'm exactly standing uh, below uh, this flagpole. When I look at uh, this picture, it, I feel like, you know, it's like a cone behind a blue uh, sky. While I'm taking this picture also because uh, due to, you know, wind, uh, maybe this uh, flag direction is going in a different way. So when I, I want to capture in a flag in a right position by, I, re, I mean, to visualize the, how the UAE flag it is. And also while I'm taking, there are different elements also like coming, like birds and uh, one helicopter also moving. So I want to be in a uh, uh, plain background in a uh, blue sky. So people are in a different perspectives look like a one, like a cone, uh, not, uh, not like uh, whether it's a huge uh, flagpole like, like that. So around 123 uh, meter height is there. So that's the, uh, about this picture. Anyway, thank you, Photomus uh, and uh, uh, our chief guest, Herberg, and all the photography members. Congratulations to all. Thank you. Mukul Soman. Mukul, you are here. Yes, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Well, first of all, I want to thank all of you for such a wonderful exhibition that you're doing. And even COVID has not stopped you. So congrats to that, all of you. And congrats to all the winners. Um, I'm a lighting artist and uh, art director. I do mostly CGI lighting work and directional photography. From time to time, me and my wife collaborate on projects. And this is one project that I collaborated with her. Um, it was a fashion theme shoot with a model that we had booked and she requested to me that she would like some aerial shots also as establishing shots for the series. So I took my drone along with me that day and uh, she art directed me a little bit. She mostly art directs me at home all the time, but for the shot, she art directed me and I aligned and took the shot. That's just about it. And again, thank you so much for the opportunity. I'm always looking forward to seeing more work from the photographers in PhotoMuse. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we are going a little bit back. Uh, Anil, you are here. Anil Prabhagar. If you are here, just unmute and just say hello. Anil. Can you hear me now? Yeah. I'm showing your image. Just a minute. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Yeah, Anil, you can talk. Yeah. Hi, good evening all. I'm Anil Prabhagar. I'm from Panani actually. I'm currently living and working in Indonesia. Professionally, I'm into a coal mining industry and uh, photography became a passion for me. And uh, it became later on, became a, my voice of expression. This photo actually I taken from uh, one of my conservation photographic series, the project called the Man and Nature. This photo titled as uh, uh, The Flesh of Earth and the tagline is You Removed My Skin. As a photographer and uh, a miner, I'm committed to contribute something to the nature. So I am expressing my anger through my photographs to evoke people to understand the importance of nature and uh, how to protect the nature. This is the content of this photo. This is what I want to express to this photo. This is actually a photo taken from the drawn and uh, it's a mining area. It's an illegal mining area. So I, I, we can visualize something like, uh, it's like removed a skin and it's like a flesh. That's what I'm trying to explain through this photo. Anyway, thank you all. Thank you, thank you, uh, Photo Moss and Bob for uh, giving a wonderful opportunity to exhibit my work. Thank you. Thank you. Murali Krishnan. Murali is here. Hello, Namaskar, sir. Hello. Namaskaram, sir. Tende pere Murali Krishnan take away till. Nyan Kanur di lele Matanur Swadeshi ana. Tende jivada til adi mai thane. Tenge lum tar til lori platformil. Nyan idutta lori photo pradarshan jee padna the. Pratyekche adu Kerala til nagatam borato arya padna. Pragalpa photographer ma rule padna B F. Photo Muse Narathuna or exhibition Anand Era Sando Shatodim, 
അതിലേറെ അഭിമാനത്തോടെയുമാണ് ഞാൻ കാണുന്നത് ഫോട്ടോഗ്രാഫി രംഗത്ത് ഒരു തുടക്കക്കാരൻ എന്ന നിലയിൽ നമ്മുടെ നാട്ടിലും ചുറ്റുപാടിലും കാണുന്ന ജീവിത മുഹൂർത്തങ്ങളെ സത്യസന്ധമായി പകർത്തുവാനും നാടിന്റെ സൗന്ദര്യത്തെയും ഗ്രാമീണതയുടെ നിഷ്കളങ്ക ഭാവങ്ങളെയും ഗൃഹാതുരമായ ഓർമ്മകളെയും ജീവിതത്തിന്റെ നേർക്കാഴ്ചകളെയും എന്റെ പരിമിതികൾക്ക് അകത്ത് നിന്ന് പകർത്തിയെടുക്കുവാനുള്ള ശ്രമമാണ് ഞാൻ പൊതുവെ നടത്താറുള്ളത് അത്തരം ശ്രമങ്ങൾക്കിടയിൽ വീണ്ടും കിട്ടിയ ഒരു മുഹൂർത്തമാണ് എന്റേതായി ഇവിടെ പ്രദർശിപ്പിക്കപ്പെടുന്നത് യാതൊരു വിധത്തിലുള്ള അലങ്കാരങ്ങളും ടെക്നോളജിയുടെ അകമ്പടിയും ഇല്ലാതെ അതേസമയം ആധുനിക മലയാള സമൂഹത്തിന് അന്യമായിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു കാലഘട്ടത്തിന്റെ രേഖപ്പെടുത്തൽ എന്ന നിലയിലും ഒരു ഛായാചിത്രത്തെ ഓർമ്മിപ്പിക്കുന്ന നിറക്കൂട്ടുകൾ നിറഞ്ഞ ദൃശ്യഭംഗി ഉണ്ടെന്നതും ആവാം ഈ ചിത്രത്തെ തെരഞ്ഞെടുക്കാൻ കാരണം എന്ന് ഞാൻ വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നു എന്റെ പ്രിയ പത്നിയാണ് ഈ ചിത്രത്തിലെ കഥാപാത്രമായി വന്നത് എന്നതിലും എനിക്കേറെ സന്തോഷമുണ്ട് എന്നെ പോലുള്ള ഒരുപാട് ആൾക്കാർക്ക് വലിയ പ്രോത്സാഹനം നൽകുന്ന ഫോട്ടോ മ്യൂസിനും നന്ദി പറയുകയാണ് ഇവിടെ എന്നോടൊപ്പം എക്സിബിഷനിൽ നടത്തുന്ന എല്ലാവർക്കും എന്റെ അഭിനന്ദനങ്ങളും ആശംസകളും അറിയിക്കുന്നു എല്ലാവർക്കും ഒരിക്കൽ കൂടി നന്ദി താങ്ക് യു ഓൾ താങ്ക് യു നക്ഷത്ര താങ്ക് യു സാർ നിവേദിത ഹലോ ഹായ് നിവേദിത ദത്ത ഐ ആം ഫ്രോം ദി സിറ്റി ഓഫ് ജോയ് കാൽക്കട്ട സോ ഐ ആം റിയലി താങ്ക്ഫുൾ ടു ഫോർട്ടി ന്യൂസ് ഫോർ ഗിവിംഗ് മീ ദിസ് ബ്രില്യൻസ് അബ്സുലറ്റ്ലി അമേസിംഗ് ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റി ആൻഡ് for this photograph i am a street photographer and i am doing this for quite, quite a long time and this photograph is taken from near back and uh, it is taken like i was just walking down the lane with my camera obviously i was there for the street walk and to shoot and i found this girl doing this kind of thing on the road the tight road walk and i found different lines and structures and everything and i can't just lose it so i tried to take many angles many pictures of her but finally i like to like uh, actually i like to take away subject from the surroundings and i like to speculate it so i tried different angles but this time i found this guy just go underneath her and i laid down myself and i just clicked this image and it's like the woman power it's like the even it's like the burden they carry even that they can walk still on a very uh, tight situation just like that there are many ways you can actually extend this photograph there is not particular one thing that i should go ahead and give give my views on so that's it thank you for to me thank you everybody thank you nivedita nelson george hi everyone i hope you all can hear me Yeah. Yeah. Actually this photo I have taken uh, from like now uh, while I was doing my PhD. So uh, from 2013 onwards I have been following this family in this marshy land. So this Saras Crane family uh, they have been uh, hatching eggs every year. So at the end of 2000, 2017 I stopped following this family for a, a time period of 4 months. so after four months i went back to this marshy land and i found that there is a lot of concessions going on so uh, i couldn't do anything what i could do was to take a picture and i thought i'll show this to authorities but nothing happened but later uh, when i published this in social platform and all people started discussing but again nothing happened but my, this picture if it can uh, send a message how important it is to protect the habitat so i'm so happy that i'm getting any award but uh, here uh, again i thank uh, for the muse for this wonderful opportunity uh, giving me a chance to publish this and also i congratulate everyone who who is in the platform all thank you everyone thank you everyone. thank you nelson naisil hello naisil you are here yeah i am here yeah can, uh idu 2016 il edutha chitram aanu obviation of species nu parna couple kochi visit cheyidappol adu kaanan vendi poyappol nammal edutha chitram aanu 
അതിന് ഒരു ഒരു പ്രത്യേക മൊമെന്റിന് അതിലൊരു പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ മൊമെന്റ് എനിക്ക് ഭയങ്കര ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ആയിട്ട് തോന്നി അതിന് ഞാൻ ക്യാപ്ഷൻ ഇട്ടത് കേജ്ഡ് ഓഫ് ലൈഫ് എന്നാണ് കേജ്ഡ് ലൈഫ് നമ്മൾ യാത്രയിലാണെങ്കിൽ പോലും നമ്മൾ ഓരോരുത്തരും അവരുടെ ജീവിതത്തിലെ സ്വന്തം ജീവിത ഭാരങ്ങളുടെ പ്രത്യേക കൂടുകളിലാണ് അതിൽ അടച്ചിട്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് അപ്പൊ അങ്ങനെ ഉള്ളൊരു രീതിയാണ് അതിൽ എനിക്ക് കാണാൻ കണ്ടത് ഈ ഫോട്ടോ എടുത്ത് ഇതിൽ പ്രദർശിപ്പിക്കാനായിട്ട് എന്നെ അതിന് പ്രാപ്തനാക്കിയ ഫോട്ടോ മീസിനോടും അതിൽ ഓരോ മെന്റേഴ്സിനോടും ഞാൻ വളരെയേറെ കടപ്പെട്ടിരിക്കുന്നു നന്ദി ഫോട്ടോ മീസ് താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു പ്രദീപ് ജൻവി ഗുഡ് ഈവനിങ് ഓൾ I just want to thank everyone for giving this opportunity to showcase uh, my picture. And when we travel to, as family, we travel to US and uh, while driving through uh, Florida, our uh, family wanted to go to washroom. So they, they went to the washroom and I was uh, waiting outside and there was a small lake. So I, there was uh, two alligators next to me. They, I, I, So it was full of uh, uh, plants, uh, leaves and all on top of it. But when I looked a little further, one uh, alligator was just moving. It, it's not just moving, it's not swimming, it's just floating. So that is why you can see there is, there is no ripples or anything from the, from the water. So it looks like uh, it's getting into the cloud. So I put uh, the title as uh, Flying Alligator. and uh, it is it's next to the road side so it's it's free one side we saw the birds and uh, people like us dem- demolishing the situation of the uh, their lifestyle and but here they live really and the spot on it teaches i i love to be a part of uh, photo muse and thank you lot to thank you for every every minute details which uh, i received from uh, biju and uh, manan sir all of them are wish you all the best thank you thank you sir. Prashant Mohan. Prashant. Prashant is not here, I think. Rajiv. Hi. Hi. Uh, good evening to all. എന്റെ പേര് രാജീവ് രാജീവ് മണ്ണേ ഞാൻ തിരുവനന്തപുരം ജില്ലയിലെ വെഞ്ഞാറമൂട് സ്വദേശിയാണ് രണ്ടായിരത്തി പതിനേഴില് കൊച്ചി ബീനാലെ കണ്ട് മടങ്ങുന്ന വഴിക്ക് എഴുപുന്നയിൽ നിന്ന് ഞാൻ എടുത്ത ചിത്രമാണിത് ആദ്യം അസ്തമയ സൂര്യനെ കൂടി ചേർത്ത് ഒരു ഫ്രെയിമാണ് സെറ്റ് ചെയ്തത് എന്നാൽ വ്യത്യമാ വ്യത്യസ്തമായിട്ട് എന്ത് ചെയ്യാം എന്നുള്ളൊരു ആലോചനയിൽ നിന്നാണ് ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു ഫ്രെയിം കമ്പോസ് ചെയ്യാൻ തോന്നിയത് ഈ ട്രാൻസ്മിഷൻ ലൈനുകളുടെ ട്രാൻസ്മിഷൻ ടവറുകളുടെ ചിത്രം പലതവണ എടുത്തത് കൊണ്ട് എടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നത് കൊണ്ട് എനിക്ക് പെട്ടെന്ന് ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു ഫ്രെയിമിലേക്ക് വരാൻ സാധിച്ചു സബ്ജക്റ്റിന് കുറച്ചുകൂടി പ്രാധാന്യം കിട്ടുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് അതിനെ ഗ്രേ സ്കെയിലേക്ക് മാറ്റിയത് ആ ഇത്തരത്തിൽ ഒരു ഈ പ്രദർശനത്തിലേക്ക് എൻ്റെ ചിത്രം തിരഞ്ഞെടുക്കുകയും ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു അവസരം തരികയും ചെയ്ത ഫോട്ടോ മ്യൂസിന് എൻ്റെ നന്ദി രേഖപ്പെടുത്തുന്നു താങ്ക് യു Ranjit Warrior. Hi. Good evening everybody. This is, this is Ranjit. So, I am an IT professional and photography is my passion. So, generally when I travel or whenever I go anywhere, I'll keep the camera with me. So, this photo was like happened like that. It was not a planned shot. So, it was taken in Singapore and I was like walking on a like evening, I mean afternoon on a park, a Singapore park. So, on the way, this alligator suddenly came up. and and i had to just keep walking and i had a few minutes to take that before it just goes away from my frame or in front of me so in a hurry i was just looking for a best angle or best shot and i could get this way it was looking for me like a parade or like a fashion show in front of few people and to get a specialty could get some people or kids on as a background so it was completely it got in one minute or like a unplanned photo shoot and this is my first photo like getting uh, presented in a such a big forum and i want to thank uh, uh, photomius for giving me such an opportunity thank you very much thank you rajit murli uh, 
is it audible now yeah yes hi everyone uh, myself uh, rajit murali i am from uh, thrissur uh, kerala and currently uh, residing in uh, saudi arabia i'm following photography as a passion since last uh, four to five years and i'm associated with uh, back also almost uh, since last four years so talking about this uh, this picture in this black and white image uh, you can see three three elements i would say major elements you can see uh, an eagle which is uh, hovering around you can see a nest and then you can see a small uh, sparrow towards the right while uh, i was photographing uh, while i was at field my focus was to convey a message uh, using the eagle itself and the nest but i didn't observe that there was a sparrow sitting uh, towards the towards the right portion till i reached home and uh, i started observing and uh, started making a selection of the images and this is what we all know as a photographer's luck and this luck played in my favor also i saw uh, and i spotted a sparrow which is uh, right the uh, towards the right side of the fr frame and all three elements were aligning uh, itself so the way the sparrow was looking at uh, at the nest it uh, clearly showed a kind of helplessness and how desperate it was to get back to its uh, nest and be safe from the predator which is the eagle in this case now being an expat uh, myself i'm residing in saudi arabia i could relate to sparrow and nest uh, as my homeland and eagle as the challenges what we as expats face in uh, unload, unknown uh, countries so this is what uh, idea i wanted to convey through this this uh, image anyways uh, thank you uh, for the muse and uh, dr uni sir thank you so much for this uh, opportunity i'm grateful for that have a good day thank you sai nandan Size here. Saji Abraham. Sandeep. Sandeep Pushkar, am I audible? Hello. Take off. Yes. Take off. Bardo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. First of all, I will thank thank Potomis and all my mentors. The image was taken from a trip uh, uh, from Kerala to Nepal, right? It was taken from the uh, Karnataka Tamil Nadu border. Uh, it looked like a bird sitting on an electric line, but uh, it was an electrician working on the electric line it felt like a picture a minimalistic picture image and uh, i photographed it okay thank you thank you sandeep sharatlal sharat Shabir, hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Photomus for giving me such an opportunity. It's, a, it's really a great pl platform for me. I am Shabir, uh, resident of Palakka district, uh, professionally a librarian working in Kannur University. Uh, to this picture um, i took this picture from the woods of vinod during one of my trip to the vinod forest i saw a pond with a reddish color a different color of water which we have been seeing in this image and uh, the coloration change in color was due to the uh, growth of an algae uh, life is in any form uh, almost uh, impossible i think in this kind of situation but frogs frogs have been surviving 
observing, uh, surviving even the worst condition. In order to make their survival mechanism, the frogs have popped up their eyes and nose above the surface of the water. And uh, I try to like I try to convey the message of uh, survival of the fittest. And uh, photographically, the coloration of the water uh, and uh, the color tone and the popping out uh, popped out uh, eyes uh, captured my attention. And uh, I'm thanking again photographers for selecting my image uh, for this prestigious exhibition. Thank you. Thank you, Shabir. I think Sharath is here. Sharath, can you join? Sharath? Shaji? Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you for joining us, uh, giving this opportunity. I'm Shaji Chandra, basically from Vaikyam, now in Dhaka, Qatar. Actually, this image uh, Lester Award for the Pretor image. Thank you for that. Uh, in the Gulf countries, macro photography is a very difficult situation. This is the end of December. I was in a farmhouse. Actually, this is an illusion. This is a dragonfly. Actually, it is close to a little distance. That's why we have Youth which no combo other illusion at the only. I don't know any picture. Uh, thank you for the most for giving this an opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you. Shyam. Okay. Can you brother? Yeah. Pardon. Uh, I don't know. 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 I ഞാൻ <laughs> Thank <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Srijit. Srijit Nilai. Sudhir. Tino Thomas. Tino. Ulas. Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. First of all, I thank Photomuse for organizing an, experience, uh, an exhibition like this on this uh, COVID time. Has been really a, a great opportunity uh, for many of the people to exhibit their images, and it's a, really a, a good thing to see a lot of things, a lot of good photos in this time of frustration. Uh, about talking about this photo, this photo was taken from uh, uh, Kadamakudi, a place near to Ernakula. Uh, one morning, when I went to uh, bedding for with my friend, we saw this uh, kingfisher trapped in a net. 
actually we thought it was dead so i took a couple of photos um, uh, it was uh, and then in in the middle i felt like it uh, it has opened his eyes or something so i just wanted to check it so i took a pebble and threw it in the water then it uh, uh, tried to free itself from the net so uh, what i did was then uh, we just moved around and uh, looking for a boatman and luckily we found some uh, one guy and uh, he came to the rescue and he freed the bird from the net so that was an emotional moment so that's the story behind the photo thank you all thank you vivek okay so that finishes the photograph photographs so is there anybody who has rejoined and who wants to talk srijit you are here srijit nilay srijit srijit can you please unmute and talk hello yes hi sir are you here yeah we can we can hear you please ah uh, namaskaram yan sreed nilai keralathile kasaragod jillayile nileshwaram swadeshi aanu kanye 22 varshamayi photography cheyunu eh photography aanu ende upajeevanam maarkam adinadili idavelagalil prakriti photography ഇഷ്ടപ്പെടുന്നു അപ്പൊ ഈ ഒരു ചിത്രത്തെ കുറിച്ച് പറയുമ്പോൾ നമ്മുടെ നാട്ടിൽ സാധാരണയായി കാണുന്ന പുള്ളിനത്തിന്റെ ഒരു ചിത്രമാണ് ഈ ചിത്രം സാധാരണഗതിയിൽ എല്ലാ പുള്ളി ഈ നത്തുകൾ തെങ്ങിന്റെ അതായത് തല പോയ തെങ്ങിന്റെ നമ്മുടെ നാടൻ ഭാഷയിൽ പറയുമ്പോൾ ഈ തല പോയ തെങ്ങിന്റെ നടുവിലാണ് ഇവർ കൂടുണ്ടാക്കുന്നത് പക്ഷെ ഇത് എന്തോ ഒരു ടോപ്പിൽ നിൽക്കുന്ന ഒരു ചിത്രം എന്റെ ശ്രദ്ധയിൽപ്പെടുകയും നിരന്തരം അത് ഫീമെയിൽ ബേർഡ് ആണെന്ന് എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നു മെയിൽ ബേർഡ് ആണെന്ന് തോന്നുന്നു ഫീമെയിൽ ബേർഡ് അടയിരിക്കുമ്പോൾ മെയിൽ ബേർഡ് അതിന്റെ മുകളിൽ നിൽക്കുന്നതാണെന്ന് എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നു അപ്പൊ ഈ ഒരു ചിത്രം പകർത്തുക എന്ന ലക്ഷ്യത്തോടു കൂടി നിരന്തരമായി ഒരു മൂന്ന് നാല് ദിവസത്തെ പ്രയത്നത്തിന് ഒടുവിലാണ് ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു ചിത്രം കിട്ടിയത് ഈ ചിത്രം പകർത്തുമ്പോൾ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഒരു ഒരു വ്യത്യസ്ത ഫ്രെയിമിൽ കൊണ്ടുവരിക എന്ന ഉദ്ദേശത്തോടു കൂടി തന്നെയാണ് നിലത്ത് കിടന്നുകൊണ്ട് പേരലായി ഈ തെങ്ങിനെയും കൂടെ ഈ ഫ്രെയിമിലേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുവരുമ്പോൾ ആ ചിത്രത്തിന് ഒരു ഒരു ഭംഗി ഉണ്ടാവുമെന്ന ഒരു തിരിച്ചറിവോട് കൂടിയാണ് ഈ ചിത്രം പകർത്തിയത് എന്ത് എന്ത് തന്നെ ആയാലും ഈ ഫോട്ടോ മ്യൂസിന്റെ ഈ എക്സിബിഷനിൽ പങ്കെടുക്കാൻ പറ്റിയതിലും വളരെയധികം സന്തോഷം താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു ആണ് Liju Matthew John Liju Matthew Okay so I think uh, we are finished Hey what about that what about that Hey Matthew finished with the workyal kuda endu maarita so i'm stopping the live yeah. yes so we are done with the images and now i request uh, nandakumar mudadi our own nandetan uh, to deliver the vote of thanks kekanda uh, നമസ്കാര ടു ഓൾ ഡിയർ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ഐ ആം ഇൻ ദ സ്ക്രീൻ ഇൻ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് യു ആസ് അക്കാഡമിക് ഡയറ ഓഫ് ഫോട്ടോ മ്യൂസ് ടു ഹാൻഡ് ഓവർ ആൻഡ് ഷെയർ അവർ ഹാസ് ഇൻസ്റ്റഡ് ഓഫ് വോട്ട് ഓഫ് താങ്ക്സ് ബിക്കോസ് ഇൻ അവർ കൾച്ചർ സെയിൻ താങ്ക്സ് ടു എ പേഴ്സൺ means all relations connected to a particular 
incident ends. For my view, that is not good. We photo news stands for starting new programs like this and keep relations forever. It was a Bajirada task to and conduct an exhibition that takes place once in two years known as Open Origin Open Air. Now you know that COVID pandemic affected all over the world. Due to this reason, not as sure we plan to conduct this exhibition online. We are sure that ambient of an exhibition conducted in a hall is lost. Today, since technology has grown so much, the exhibition done online can be seen, evaluated, and can be communicated everyone with the photographer on their view. That means change is a must. There is a phrase in Sanskrit, Tubasya Shigram, means good ask. Time and technology never wait for us. They will change every Move with them is only the remedy. Our aim should be go with the latest innovations as early as possible. Once again, we the people of Muse shower our happiness to everyone. We want more support from you of all kinds of ever. The dolly extend to me is not over. It has just started. Loga Samasta Bhino Bhavandu. Thank you, Nandetan. So uh, we are formally now done with the inaugural event. Now the exhibition can be viewed on, on Photo Muse official back. <laughs> Uh, you can see it is uploaded in YouTube also. Yeah, we post. Anything to add, Doctor? I think it's perfect. Kerb, would you like to add something? Or can we find it out? I cannot impress upon you enough how impressed I am with the work and the personalities and the efforts that went into making these photographs. I know that from my own experience that editing an image to decide what to, to display and what to, to promote is probably the single hardest decision that a photographer or an artist can make. And I applaud the thoughts and the efforts that went into picking these images because I'm sure that all of you, for every one you have, there are another 500 that you would have preferred or that you would suggest or that you would be interested in. Years and years ago, I had a photography gallery, the only one in Cleveland, Ohio. And many people would come in and show me their work and it was up to me to make a decision as to what gallery exhibitions we would have and what gallery exhibitions we wouldn't have. So I formulated five criteria upon which I based my decision of what to display in that exhibition. And I want to present these to you very briefly and congratulate you for the thoughts that go into picking your own image. The first criteria was strictly subjective and it was the ability to use the tools that you had at your hand in the proper manner. And as you all know, the best camera to own is the one in your hands. It doesn't matter what you're using, it's behind it. But when you do pick up a camera or go into your Photoshop, you have to be totally in control of the medium. The second criteria and the third, fourth, and fifth were strictly subjective. That means one man's opinion. <clears throat> and what I looked for was a rapport, a relationship between the photographer and the subject that he was working with. The third criteria is the visibility of that relationship to the viewer because every one of us 
is, has three different parts to the photograph. The person who takes it, what is taken, <coughs> excuse me, and the viewer who sees it. The fourth criteria is unique vision. How many times have I seen it? How many times have I seen it before? How many times have I seen it once? And many, many, many of these images I've never seen before. So I was absolutely startled and overwhelmed. And the fifth criteria, which is probably the most important, is a strong emotional impact. You want to stop the person in their tracks. You want to make them to look at the image. You want to make them relate to the image, to feel the image, to think about the image. And uh, I don't have a credit card handy, but you want them to be able to hand you their credit card and say, I want to buy this. I can't live without it. So basically, they're trading you in little pieces of paper with numbers on them that you can take to the bank for something that they will hang on the wall and enjoy forever. So uh, unique uh, mastery of tools, a relationship between you and the image, that visibility of the relationship to the viewer, strong emotional impact, unique image, have I seen it before? Those are what I look for in an image and I couldn't tell you uh, more how impressed I am that all the images that I've seen today have been in those categories. Absolutely remarkable work. And we are very excited about hanging them here and you will be followed on our publicity uh, next year when we get that far. Thank you very, very much for having me. And it was a wonderful morning. Thank you, Herb, for those words. Doctor, you want to add anything? I think we can write up. Uh, nothing more to add to this. Uh...